We saw in previous videos, in the first video what SQL actually is. It is a structured query language, and how databases use them to get their operations done, like create, read, update, and delete. Right? After that, we saw what SQL injections are, how we can implement SQL injections on different machines. Now we are going to see how we will come to know what websites are vulnerable to SQL injections and what websites are not. So in this regard, we are learning a new tool called SQL Map. And we'll learn to use it today and how to actually use it, that as well. We will also be using Burp Suite to intercept the request. Let's go to the login page. Okay. We have two parameters here, username and password. If I write my username as Cameron and my password as well, it says that username and password didn't match. Please try again. Alright. So. Let's intercept this request. Okay. To better understand this we'll need to see that the request that goes from application to the database, from the web server to the app server, how is it traveling, we need to analyze. Okay. We see that intercept is already on. Okay. We go into options so we can set the proxy. We set in proxy 8083. Port and specific address. Alright. If we see that it intercepted on burp suite and gave us the request. We'll need to create a file for it first. I will say here touch in. I will give the file name icebreaker, icebreakers, alright? Icebreakers Pro. Touch. Okay, now. I have the file icebreakers pro, in icebreakers pro, I will set it to nano, and it opens up the text accelerator, and the request I had, I pasted it. I first intercepted it and copied it. And then I'll just format it. Okay. I formatted it, cleaned up all the spaces. Okay. I guess this is enough. Save. Okay. If I cat icebreakers pro and see it now, what it contains now, the request that was forwarded through burp suite. I intercepted it and copied it and saved it. We used an SQL map. We write SQL map, then. The file we just created, in which I had the request. I give the flag for reading, and I passed along the same file here, Icebreakers Pro, which had my request. Okay? Okay. Now, what else would I need to give further? I will need to specify at which parameter I need to check it. Is my password parameter vulnerable, or? Is my username parameter vulnerable? So I write. I give the parameter flag, and then I say, password. Okay? And I need everything so I also write. Dump. Okay. So it has started checking if the requested parameter is vulnerable to SQL injections or not. It is asking me something here so I select yes here. Okay. Here, I select continue. Now it is. Checking everything one at a time whether my post parameter password is vulnerable to SQL injections or not. Boolean parameters and where having. It is checking all these clauses in an automated fashion. It is also telling us different things here, that it checked this and checked that, is this database my SQL or not. It is also going error based. Here it is checked Postgres and Microsoft SQLs. Okay. So it says that the post parameter password is not vulnerable according to the SQL map. So we can test with other websites. We can check for vulnerable parameters, just by using this tool. Alright, so I will highly recommend that if you guys. Any open website, without the permission of the organization, you cannot scan it, and you cannot find vulnerabilities using the payload. That are being taught here in this video on the Ganima platform. And if you are ever caught while doing. This. Just don't let them know you learned this from Ganima. Just kidding. You don't. Have to do that because we have provided you with the environment to legally practice all of these things. That is our machine icebreakers pro, and our platform. You can access our platform and make use of all the capture the flags and learn all these things.